a winning match for Samus is crazy. It's hard. It's he definitely a hard He made ZD task. switch off of Samus on the Fox. He made ZD switch off of Fox on the Wolf, which is crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's definitely a hard task. And like you mentioned before, you know, if it's not the DLC, you're kind of going to run into spaces here. But we're not going to be seeing the Samus. It is going to be the patented Yoshi. Yoshi O going up against Mercury. One of the best jokers to be doing it out here in the Smash community. And here we are. Um, small Battlefield is a stage pick. And there's a quick 23 and an Aha to go along with that one. There we go. Yeah, Mercury starting off strong. Knowing that Yoshi really likes us to extend and approach with these uh, disjoints that Yoshi has, right? Like those tails, the back airs, and the F tilts are really good against a character like Joker. He doesn't have like crazy good disjointed range, but that gun and that Aegon, Mercury always playing at that mid range and knows exactly how to play around the Yoshi. Like he's throwing out these back airs, keeping him at an arm's length, and just like really just putting on so much pressure. This ledge Yoshi has almost lost her where he's really trying to find a way back onto the stage right now. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you're dealing with a Joker with Arsene right now. You know, most Joker mains love to throw out that back air. That back air is a menace to society. And as you see right there, you have. Almost a max rage Yoshi right now at 144% and then some tacked on and holding up for dear life as he's playing in the corner. I mean, Yoshi is doing a good job surviving. He really has to work on a little bit more spacing. That Those backers that he's throwing out, a little bit too obvious right now and it's not catching Mercury off guard. Oh, there we go. Nice forward here to close the stock from Mercury. Already up full stock, 55%. Yeah, Mercury's showing that like, he's learned from yesterday, right? Literally, just keep this Yoshi away. The one thing that Yoshi's super good at is getting in and tacking on so much damage. But people tend to realize that like, at that long range where you can have that gun to Aha range, Yoshi can't do much about it, right? Like, he literally has to rely on jumping in and throwing out back air. And it's given if he gets in and he does that damage, he is really good. It's just Mercury is so good at keeping you at that length and just keeping Yoshio guessing on what exactly he's going to use to keep you away. Like, yeah, exactly and you're not seeing a lot. So of, you're really not seeing a lot of brawling coming out from Mercury right now. He's playing it safe. He's keeping the distance. He has the gun, like you mentioned before. He's also using that Aha a lot more than um, most Jokers would normally do. But you know what? Good tech coming out from Mercury right there, saving himself, holding on to this his first stock for dear life as he has Yoshio at 87% of extra credit. And once again at the corner playing against Arsene, you are in a bad predicament right now, Yoshio. Well, you gotta be careful. Arsene puts you off the ledge. It's really gonna be hard to come back from. From those back airs, the triple, oh my god, all those back airs. Hey bro, it's all about the back airs. Arsene Ooh. is out, and that is also gonna be the first stock. Yoshio finally putting himself on the board. Gonna attack on a little bit of damage of his own, but he has a lot of ground to make up. And against a character like Joker, whose hurt box is, well, I wouldn't say non-existent, but it's pretty hard to hit a skinny character like Joker sometimes, especially with a character like Yoshi. But Yoshio has to find a way because Arsene, we're almost halfway there to getting that baby back. Exactly, there we go, throwing out those guns, keeping Yoshio at that arm's length, like I said. At 141, Yoshio is just like, struggling to get in against Mercury right now. Drag down in the downside, you're not going to kill, but putting you relatively high too. Oh, nice use of that Rebel's Guard. Yo, using that Rebel Guard against that egg is so good, because like, most characters don't really have an answer to the egg. You have to either shield it or kind of like, deal with it. But Mercury using that Rebel's Guard at all times, getting that Arsene is always a good job. But Yoshio doing the job of keeping this Arsene away. It's already gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, finally, we're seeing a lot more aggression coming out this time around with Yoshio when he sees the Arsene showing no fear and practically almost evening things back out. I mean, you have a max rage Yoshi and this Joker is definitely on the verge of dying if he gets hit with a strong smash attack. Oh, there we go. Again, the Rebel's Guard. Very good stuff from Mercury, keeping Yoshio away at 122. This max rate, Yoshi's going to be so scary. Mercury makes one mistake. His stock could be gone. Oh, he rolls away. Okay. And the back throw is going to do it. Good stuff from Mercury, closing out that second stock from Yoshio. Not a common uh, way to kill to take off stocks with a uh, back throw coming out from Joker, but it de definitely does get the work done. And now, once again, tacking on a bit of extra credit percent, but we're gonna see a lot more aggression coming out from Yoshio. He's challenging Ooh. Mercury off stage as he should, but Mercury on top of his game, making sure that it's not gonna be an easy stock to take away as the down throw back air connects. He knows that Yoshio is really good at challenging people off stage, but that tech button, he's already got his, R his <laughs> hand on that R button, dude. He's his tech Sylvania. Mm -hmm. We don't miss those out here. Definitely not. And it seems to be paying off as he's tacking on a little bit more percentage. Arsene, really, these last few times that we've seen Arsene has not really been much of a deal breaker for Mercury, but it's doing what it has to do. Gonna get a, a quick counter, but it doesn't even matter. He's gonna hit, get hit with the second egg. Right now, Yoshio playing with the spacing, trying to use that back air to potentially take the second stock and try to even things back out. Ooh. 
nice chase, but the, the good reaction time coming out from Mercury. Wow. Oh my gosh, Mercury using those guns to keep Yoshi away, living as long as possible, trying to find the dragon up here. Unfortunately, not able to find it, putting so much pressure on top of Yoshio on this platform right now. He's just struggling to close out the stock Ooh. right now. Upslash is not going to do that. Other out of shield, again, still living as Joker right now. Oh again, the tech. Okay, but you're gone. Like you, you lived so long, you can still tech it. Literally, it sends you back so far, you couldn't even grab the legend anymore. Oh. The game was telling you, like, it's time to relax. Your stock is gone here. Yeah, definitely time to relax. And now we're down to a final stock scenario, but don't count out Yoshio yet. It seems like he's already tacked on a quick 38 damage, and oh, then oh. some as he gets the good chase. Oh! And he saw the bait. He baited the air dodge, but he didn't commit to it because he was scared that Arsene would have been a saving grace right there. But playing this safe right now, Yoshio with F2, oh. not enough. That's so close. Yoshio's got to be careful with this Arsene. Edge guard is so bad. Wow. That down tilt coming out. He's still hanging on. Oh All right, Mercury reads him here. Yoshi, he's still right. We'll find it. Oh my god, Yoshio's playing with his life right now. He's got to be careful. One leggy option. You could be gone here. Arsene backer coming out again. Anybody, anybody can lose in this scenario, but and throwing out a raw fair. It was the right option, but just the hurt box of Joker being the saving grace for Mercury as he gets that game one. And despite, you know, the way that he started off that game one. We got to give credit to Yoshio, keeping it close, fighting back, showing resiliency from time to time. And hey, this is a best of five territory. Uh -huh. So there is enough time to get some downloading. Dude, that was game one. Mm -hmm. That was insane. Both these players, like Mercury, like, like Mercury was doing such a good job. He knows exactly how to play around Yoshi, right? The one thing Yoshi is really, really good at is aerial approaching and throwing out aerials on shield. The safety, if you're like the air drift of the Yoshi, if you're able to up air or back air through shield, you can basically get away with whatever you want with Joker considering his lackluster out of shield. I think Mercury learned his lesson yesterday and said, okay, well, if you just, if I just never let you do that, then I'll be fine. Mm -hmm. If I just sit there and use gun, which is the best projectile, which even, even a projectile, that'll keep you away, and I don't ever have to deal with Yoshi. If I never have to deal with Yoshi, I'll be fine. It's just like fighting like a, like your average brawler. Like if I'm able mm -hmm. to just keep you at arm's length and just f you or to, keep, to take the stock, I'll be fine. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna get the, the music choice counter pick coming out from Yoshio as he picks a Yoshi themed song. It's not your <laughs> it's not uh, common for somebody to do that, but Hey, that's how the story unfolds. Bandit Valley as we get into game two. The Yoshi is still on lock now. I feel like Samus, like you mentioned before, uh, Yoshi does have a Samus. I feel like Samus would do pretty well against Joker. I mean, you get to play your spacing game. You get to keep a good distance. You don't have to worry about getting in against Arsene whenever Arsene is on the board. But, I mean, Yoshi, Yoshio showed uh, a lot of resilience, like I mentioned before, with Yoshi, and it seems like he's finally starting to figure something out. Has to be a little bit more patient because that Rebels Guard has been coming out a lot for Mercury. Yeah, exactly. Mercury using that Rebels Guard to keep away from the eggs. These aerials are not going to do much. Or just come down with the gun. He's literally just refuses to interact with this character, right? Like, Joker theoretically could combo this character to Oblivion. Mm -hmm. But, like, why even risk that when I can just sit there and just shoot, bang, bang, hey ha yep. bang, bang, just stay away from me, right? Like, you oh. also got to keep in mind that despite, you know, how how combo-heavy Yoshi can be. He also has that jump armor to get him out of a lot of sticky scenarios. But once you see again, every single time that we see um, Yoshio off stage, instead of going for an edge guard, instead of trying to two-frame him, we're seeing those eggs being thrown. And that's Mercury's way of saying, all right, build up this rebel gauge for me. I want Arsene Ooh. because when Arsene is in the board, that back air is going to be coming out like crazy and annihilate the stocks. Exactly. This Arsene is doing so much work for Mercury this game. Already putting 25% on top of Yoshio's second stock. The up gun coming out. Yoshio is just kind of like, he's trying to find the answer to this Arsene, right? He's trying to play his normal Yoshi game, but it's not really going to work out. Like He's trying to pressure Mercury off stage, and most of the time it's working, but more, once Mercury finds his footing again, he's just able to get so comfortable and keep Yoshi at an arm's length. Mm -hmm. All right, and now it's Mercury who's sitting at the corner, but easily making it back, maintaining that center stage. And I feel like that's just been Mercury's game plan. You know, maintain all that stage control, get Arsene whenever, you know, it, whenever the opportunity is presented, just get that Arsene built up immediately, and then just play it safe. Ahas, guns, the works, because eventually Yoshio's gonna have to commit. He's going to have to get in. In those kind of scenarios, that time he wasn't able to get a punish, but it doesn't even matter because he's at 100 plus percent. And he tech that. Wow. Okay. Never mind. He ate my words. <laughs> Maybe oh. my words. There we go. 170%. Mercury is hanging on. Dropping on that gun into four there. Yo, Mercury is so consistently clean. It's all his convert. My bad. Hey, yo. Sorry, Mercury. Hey, yo. 
As immediately as I say <laughs> that, he just drops down and does a fastball <laughs> there. My bad, man. Okay, and there you go. The up smash out of shield. Mm -hmm. That's that one out of shield option that Joker has, and it comes in clutch when you have it as a mix-up option. You don't right. do it too often. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as long as uh, Yoshi throws out unsafe uh, moves uh, like uh, that. That was a pretty unsafe way of going off stage, but we're going to make it back on stage safely. This is Yoshio's time to shine. He also has to worry about Arsene. That's, been, that's practically about to come out anytime soon if uh, he gets one more big hit. But, I mean... Yoshio is, seems to be oh struggling. Every time he plays the grounded game, Mercury's already one step ahead of him. But then when he plays the aerial game and Arsene's in the, in the building, I mean, it doesn't even matter. There's no way for Yoshio to get in. It's like there's so much you can do to mix up your gameplay with Yoshi, right? He's mm -hmm. like, oh, throw the egg, I have Rebel's Guard. Running with back air, I shield it. You know, if you try to run at me, I'll just A-hop. Yeah. It's just so much. Just, Yoshio is just trying to keep Mercury here, but it's, just, it's not really not working out for him. We've already got him at 93%. Use those guns. Nice back ring up from Merc. Oh, right close up to the fourth he has end. No jump. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That sucks. Scooping out the jump with the two hits of the F tilt, and it pays dividends to Mercury as he this time around. I wouldn't say he flew past uh, with this game too, but it was definitely you know he he's definitely adapting to the matchup a lot better. Mercury is using his knowledge of how Yoshio likes to play the game. Mm -hmm. The way Yoshio plays is just. Are you, is he going to pick Samus? Yes. Is he picking Samus using the Samus? There's no the way, Brent right? The Brent Star Death's counterpick music oh my into the God. Samus matchup. Desperate this. times calls for desperate measures. If the Yoshi is not doing it, he only has one more uh, tool up his arsenal, and that is the Samus. Is it a good counterpick? Hey, I'm not really upset about out. the counterpick. I'm going to say that he <laughs> picked Metroid music and then went Samus. Like, come on, bro. Hey. This is this is like literally giving anime protagonist energy, bro. You, you can't not root for the kid. Yeah. Hey, Yoshio is definitely um, a crowd favorite, especially ever since he came here um, from Japan to Philly. You know, he's been making a lot of moves, like you mentioned. He hasn't really been able to clutch a bears yet, but he's always right there amongst the talents, you know, that Philly has to offer. Hopefully, we can see a potential reverse 3 0 on his end, but it's not going to come easy with a player like Mercury. Especially in this matchup like this, like I'd say Yoshi does a really good job of playing against aggressive characters. It's just like Samus doesn't really have a fast projectile mm -hmm. to deal with uh, Joker's mid range, right? What do you like, do you don't you wait? You wait your <laughs> turn. This is like this is popcorn reading in class. <laughs> wait for me to finish the page, then you got it, bro. Mm -hmm. Finally going to get back on stage and building up a little bit of percentage, finally forcing the shields to come out of Mercury, and they're oh, finally oh, paying oh off. God. He's Part hitting all these more balls left and right. What are you doing? And he finally loses his stock. I don't know how many times he... I don't know if the grappling hook has a way of... The mechanic, if as long as it keeps latching onto ledge, that's when it stops latching after a few uh, grabs. I think the the, uh, the number is five. After it, the fifth time, it just doesn't grab the ledge. Is it, Even if um it's not Joker himself hanging on, would it be just a grappling hook? I that's the question. That's, yeah, that, that's, that's something question. I gotta figure out for myself. But nonetheless, that was a beautiful stock coming out from Yoshio. Yeah, we hate people who spam moves, but in that scenario, you spam the perfect option and took the stock with ease. Well, there goes the old saying, right? I didn't spam the wrong, the right move. You spam the wrong option, mm. right? Hey. You always remember that, especially with Samus. Let's try. Man, that backer is gonna come out. Send back is going to close it. Mercury evening up the stock count. And looking still really keeping the game relatively close. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and now nothing that Arsene can build up. Already 25% to practically even this game back out. And once again, Mercury playing the spacing game. I am going to camp you out with these guns. <laughs> these guns are gonna do damage, and unfortunate right there, the charge shot was not enough to even touch Mercury. Yoshio's crazy, dude. Alright. 76 Oh, nice clank in there with the grab, keeping him away on this ledge. Mercury at 90% of this. Arsene's about to come out. Yoshio's got to be careful here. There you go. Okay. Arsene is back online. Friend is here to play. Yoshio's got to be careful. Using that gun to sleep away from the grab. Cool. Get off me. That's exactly the term that Mercury just said with that gun. You are not going to get in my face. Not with the grab, not with the charge shot, not with anything. Matter of fact, I'm going to keep you off stage as much as possible and set you up for a potential way to lose this lead. Well, there we go. Mercury putting all this pressure off stage against Yoshio. Yoshio just waiting. Oh my goodness. Waiting his crazy. turn. The patience is immaculate. <laughs> he goes for the counter. He knows the uppie's coming out, but he misplaces it. He mistimes it. There we go. The same as ledge grabbing. We all know and love. We don't really love it, but that's going to take it. The forwarder for Yoshio putting Merc down to his last stock in game three. Yeah. Finally, the magic is being set on. And Yoshio erupting. Finally, we're seeing a change of pace and it's going in favor of Yoshio. 
exactly. Very good stuff for him. Oh, a hawk link with the bombs. Yoshio waiting is super patiently off stage. The back air coming out, catching the jump from Mercury. Oh, and I missed the jump. Oh, Gary catching the jump again with the up air. Our send is online, but Mercury is kind of like at a fumble right now, trying to find that opening. Anything that closes the sock out against the Samus, but Yoshio is controlling that space so well right now. And even when Joker has to get in his face, uh, Samus, all she has to do is hold that shield button, and Samus immediately can just throw out that pretty busted up B out of shield option that she has, like if she needs it. I mean, she already uses all these projectiles. Why give her an out of shield option such as up B? But hey, it's paying off right now, and it seems like 60% of extra credit tacked on in favor of Yoshio. He can play his game at his pace however he wants to, because Mercury has a lot of work to do, especially without Arsene. Exactly, oh, the gun. Nice here, popping them up there. Mercury up on the back air, he's looking for literally anything, and that back air is going to take it. Yoshio, both players down the last stock, possibly on this tournament stock, if Mercury's able to close this out and put himself with a 3-0 into loser's quarters. And that would be a pretty big 3-0. I mean, Yoshio is not an easy oh, player to go and up as, against. Yeah, as he yeah. the enemy. We're not getting the 3-0, but... Yo, we got to stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> there is just something in the air that when commentators are storytelling... The narrative just goes against us. Bro, this is why <laughs> this is why we're in the commentary field and not in the writing field. That's why we don't write stories. Hey, man. Our stories are not meant to come true. PG stats don't hire us. <laughs> come hey. on. Hey, 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 hey. Post real upsets. Ah, this, this, no, is, this, is, this is going to be a... This is, this is one hell of a set. If Yoshio's going to play the way that he's been playing in that from that game three, I can see this going to game five, and potentially he can even take the set. Yeah, exactly, man. Yoshio, he's adapting super well. He's realizing that Mercury is not going to, he's not going to play nice mm -hmm. in that mid range. He's going to be abusing that as gun and the Aha, right? So he's saying, if I pick Samus and I have this missile and this charge shot, either you're not going to rebels guard all of them, right? Like my and his Zare too, right? Is keeping Mercury at bay. Is kind of giving him a taste of his own medicine. I'm not playing Yoshi anymore. I'm playing the complete opposite. I'm, I'm doing the thing. Mm -hmm. Indeed. And now, it's. The Mercury counterpick, the Mercury stage counterpick, because I saw a PS2 on the board, plus a music counterpick. Oh. I'm pretty sure that's Mother, if I'm correct. It's not, this is a it's Rashid oh, theme. Rashid. Yes, sir. Rashid, Rashid theme is hype. Yo, yeah, this theme is so good. The this is the Bears is, classic. Yeah. In fact, it's not in the original game. It's kind of... Uh. Yeah, it's whatever. But we're going to give you some quality content with some quality players and quality music. Rashid's theme in PS2. We're back at it, game four. And we're seeing, once again, it is the Samus versus um, the, the Joker. Now, my question becomes, what, what can Mercury do different? I mean, it's a different stage, but not really, because it's still the same stage layout. So what is it that PS2 offers that small battlefield wouldn't? Um. I guess that offstage game, like Yoshio's been playing offstage with the bomb so much, giving restricting that space for him to recover is going to be so good for Mercury. Then I just go offstage and just use the a just like this, right? Like you don't have that space to play around. I mean, Mercury's going crazy already, but like, like I said, like you give him, you restrict his little play zone, and Samus can't do as much as he usually does. Oh my gosh, I, I, that our sense spawn was weird. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh -oh. if now the tables have turned, and now it's Yoshio on the verge of taking the stock, but. Overcommit. That's that, oh my god. Uh, a little bit of a um, questionable DI, but we're going to survive it this time around. And the Arsene is finally off the board. And now Mercury has to work for the stock if he wants to get the lead, at least. There you go, using that backer to keep Yoshio off stage. Ooh. Oh my gosh, a fade back from Yoshio. He's still hanging on here. Mer oh, the up, he's a little overzealous. He's still trying to find that pressure. And Yoshio is out of there. He's not scared. My favorite thing about Yoshio is that like, with every option, is confident option. He's not throwing out like a, like a like a weird like oh what if not nah, he's he's he knows which op whatever option he's doing oh, oh took the jump this is Yoshio without a jump and oh, not gonna gone. be able to make it back the beautiful usage of the gun opting to go further off stage to challenge Yoshio and it paid off for Mercury this time around I mean it seemed like he was gonna be the first one to lose that stock after you know that dash attack almost getting it but now oh. it oh seems like God. Yoshio is on a driver's seat and he has to build up something if he wants to take this first stock. Oh, he needs something soon. Arsene is about to come out. If Mercury brings out this Arsene, this could spell wrath for Yoshio. He needs literally anything to take out such a hard shot into a back door or something like that. Trying to press with that F-Till. Mercury again keeping Yoshio. Even away, this Arsene's gonna come out. This could be huge for Mercury. We get something started with this Arsene. Oh, yeah. Not a good position right now for Yoshio. He's letting Mercury live for too long. We shouldn't even be seeing Arsene right now. Finally, it's off the board, but the fact that it came back a second time around when Mercury was at 115 plus before um, 
Like, oh. it just says a lot about uh, Mercury right now. His survivability is off the charts, Ooh. and a good patience coming out from uh, Yoshio to get that back air. 64% putting bring Arsene right back out again. Arsene not gone for too long, and now it's just Yoshio being able to recover. That's something that's PS2, having really almost no space to get back. He still somehow makes it back. Down throw could be huge for Yoshio to be fighting on this platform. Never mind, Mercury with that forward air out of shield. Using you know, his usage of our send, like these literally, it's like his green goblin. Like mm -hmm. Mercury is two different players. He's playing calculated, zoning, without our send, and then our send comes out, he's like the, the best punish game in the world. Right. So. Oh Ooh. my goodness, and going for a raw forward smash right there. Almost catching Yoshi Yoshio slipping, but Yoshio Ooh. with the quick adaptation, calling out Mercury for landing right in front of him with that up tilt. That's gonna be the stock and that's gonna be the lead going in favor of Yoshio, who gets a double up there into charge shot. This is getting crazy. Yoshio, please relax, okay? Trying to call out the dash with the grab of Mercury, waits it out. Arsene's about to come out. Arsene is out, mm -hmm. coming out right now. Yes, sir. We need to close the socks. We need to hang on some of Arsene for Yoshio's last sock, or else he's going to be put in a bad position. So I say that too, getting caught up to jump with the Nair. Yoshio going all the way out there. If Yoshio, there, you're crazy. If there's, oh, any time, if there's any time for a big brother to be doing something, this is when Arsene needs to do it the most. At least get the stock before you're off the out of the play field, but not even that. Arsene not even playing a factor this time around, and Yoshio sitting comfortably with 104% of extra credit. Oh, there we go. Until okay. he finally loses that second stock, but still, a comfortable position right now. Now Yoshio can play at his pace. He can just shoot charge shots and force Mercury to probably overcommit to something that he doesn't want. Exactly. I mean, Yoshio is doing such a good job with the Samus right now. 115 Mercury, so they'll definitely bring this back. It's going to be definitely a really hard uphill battle to climb here right now. Oh, all this. A little chip damage going out from the Aha. Trying to find the grab. Yoshi's getting a little too overzealous right now. I think Mercury would definitely take advantage. If he's able to find his Arsene for the last time, this could be huge for him. Yes, sir. And now 36% has him off stage. All the stage control has really been in favor of Mercury for the whole this whole game. Ooh. But that stage control almost doesn't even matter. But as I say that, 150% on oh, oh, this Joker with the Arsene. And wow, he was way too low. Okay. That's unfortunate. Go. How is he so consistent with these morph balls? It's, I mean, what, what is this man on? What is he cooking right maybe, now? Maybe, maybe they had a point when they said Sam has the ledge, best ledge trapping in the game. 100%. Those morph balls are so good, especially that's the that's the downside to our scent coming out. Mm -hmm. If you're off stage and our scent comes out, you. The character gets worse. That's the one thing that, that everything on our set Joker gets better, except for his recovery. Yeah. Because now you have to go in a, up in a straight line, and you have literally no mix-up to deal with those bombs. Mm -hmm. And you get hit with that, and Mercury trying to air dodge through or something like that. Unfortunately, SDing, and we've got a game five for the first of the top eight. Yes, sir. And this is a great way to kick off this top eight. We're getting game five and a potential. Reverse 3-0 coming out from Yoshio, who has a lot to prove. And I believe if there's any time to prove yourself, this is the stage. At the no regional? No Johns 2 at the regional in Philly's ground. Only the best Philly player of today is going to make it. Will it be Yoshio? Will it be Mercury? Who knows? This game five will show us. Here we go. We're going back to PS2. I'm liking this pick here again. Yoshio showing he's comfortable, showing that the, the Philly side of, his, of him is coming out. He's okay to go back to the stage. Mm -hmm. But oh my gosh. Aha coming out again, 25% on top of him. He's just trying, playing slowly but surely. Once Yoshio finds his opening, he gets a lot off it. And Mercury being fully aware of that, trying to put him off stage oh. and stop that from happening. No jump and even caught the tether grab from the ledge, but it oh. doesn't even matter because Yoshio responding quickly, even catching the high recovery that Mercury wanted to go for. There we go, trying to set up those bombs again. Nice there to catch Mercury landing there. Trying to catch his run with the update. He's trying to catch all these runs from Mercury. Mercury mixing up his approach options time and time again. He's not going to get these normal reads that he usually does. Oh, there we go. The back are coming up from Merc, sending Yoshio off stage again. Mm -hmm. There's going to be huge for him. Mm -hmm. Oh, with the drag on the fair. We're seeing a lot of baited uh, charge shot options coming out from uh, Yoshio. You know, he's not pulling the trigger. He wants to see how Mercury's reacting. If he, is he holding shield? Okay, let me go for a grab. Is he jumping? Maybe I can catch him slipping with a fair. Who knows? But he's trying to condition the way that he's playing with that um, with that charge shot, not letting it loose. He's just holding on to that trigger, not letting it charge fully because he wants to play that mind game. If there's anything that Samus excels at, alongside a character like Joker, is the mind games, especially when Joker has Arsene on the board, which we should be seeing pretty soon. As, right now, actually. There we go. So we're gonna begin that. I say that too. Oh, no, we are alive. Wow, Arsene back here. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, coming out from Yoshi. We are one to two, almost max rage. Mercury has got to delete the stock now, or else you're going to have some big... Oh my gosh, the standoff, the Mexican standoff, the backer is going to do it. Here we go, Mercury up, three stocks to two. 
Yoshio doing some good work as our son's gonna do a lot of damage. Yoshio has got to be careful here. Both of these players fighting for their tournament life right now. So you know everything and anything matters right now as our is off the board, 90% tacked on, but Mercury with these guns has been magnificent. It's just been paying off and keeping Yoshio at the corner. This, I mean, Samus plays at the corner, but if you're pressuring Samus the way that uh, Mercury is right now, I, I think that's the spot that you don't want to be in it if you're Yoshio. Exactly, here we go. Nice up tilt coming out. Trying to cast a jump from Mercury. Ooh, nice air dodge expecting the up tilt again. Mercury doing such a good job. Like, Yoshio has a good ledge trapping. Mercury has that ledge trapping just right there with him. Catching, jumping with the gun again. Okay, whiffing the grab, going for that grab a little bit too often. Goes so deep. Not able to find it. Oh, and the down smash putting Yoshio onto his last stock. Mercury one stock away from claiming this and denying the reverse reel from Yoshio. Something ignited in Mercury right now that made him say, listen, I know I lost in the stage, but this is a comfort pick stage. This stage works for a character like Joker, and now we're finally seeing it pay off. Once again, off stage, but Arsene may be able to protect them. Oh no, no, it goes way too aggressive. 173, Yoshio's got to close out the stock now if he wants any chance of bringing this back. Oh, nice punish to the upper. That's still not going to take it. Oh, it goes for the dash attack. That oh, the upper is finally going to take it. All right. It's going to be tough. It's going to be an uphill battle, but it's doable for Yoshio. He's just got to stick to his gun. Maybe he can bring this back. But he has to be more aggressive on the field. Letting a Joker live to 192 is almost unheard of. You should never be letting a character as light as Joker. And as, um, you know, this character is pretty easy to cheese off stage. So you should be able to get these stocks with ease a lot quicker. But the way that Mercury's playing, let me keep this center stage. Let me, let me force Yoshio to come to me. Let me just shoot this gun because he's going to have to come to me eventually. He's down a whole stock and has a lot of ground to make up if he wants to bring this back. There we go. Oh, Arsene there coming out. Mercury putting on that pressure, knowing that he can catch Yoshio if he's scared. This is Arsene. First to Denair coming out. Let's drop position. going to be so scared for Yoshio to come back. And this Arsene. Back air, double back air. The gun's doing so much work. The up tilt coming out. We've got 91% on top of Yoshio right now. On top of oh, I'm getting off the ledge. He's just fine, but this is so tough. Back to coming out. Arsene is about to go away. Mercury has to make this count. Mm -hmm. Well, now he could just play the... The relaxing game. I was actually hoping that he would go for a Rebel's Guard right there because with our send out and with the amount of time that he had to react to that charge shot, maybe he could have gotten it built up with ease. But no, this is going to be an uphill battle like you mentioned already, uh, Momo. But we could be seeing at least this go to a final stock game, but not getting the edge guard is Yoshio. Oh, here we go, catching the jump. Arsen is about to come out. Yoshio needs to close the stock out soon. This could be bad. Arsen is here. He's out of play. And Yoshio, oh, what? just barely missing the charge shot. Oh so my close, goodness. you gotta be careful here. Mercury, one to close the stock. He's playing super patiently, knowing if he whiffs something, he needs to hang out to this Arsen. It'll be huge for him. What? And there we go, the upper is going to take it. We're in last stock situation mm. in game five of Losers Top 8. This is huge right now for both these players. None of them wants to overcommit. None of them wants to do something that's gonna risk them losing this final stock. But a jab into up, double up air and paying off, but the air dodge coming in clutch right there for Mercury, saving him for the meantime. Yeah, Mercury's got to be careful here because the entire this reverse reversio is looking more and more possible as the seconds go on, catching the jump with the up to Arsene. Oh, oh my god! Wait a minute! Oh my Does god! He get it? Oh my god! Oh my god! He gets it! He went for it all and in the most obscure way possible. He catches Mercury from the top, sends him to the heavens. Yoshio, oh and not even in a reverse 3-0. We're talking about a reverse three stock as well to go along with that, Momo. What did we just witness? Oh my God! What? What a set! Let's let's point no that out. Way. What a set! But Yoshio risk risking it all with that one upy because if he did not hit that, that was a free punish Bro. for Mercury. That's one of those punishes where you're like, you watch the VOD back what? and you're like, okay, but what if I went for that though? Right? Yoshio <laughs> went for it. He's crazy. Oh my God! He got man. it. He got the win, the reverse 3-0, the reverse 3-stock, <laughs> getting his, he 